Have pity on an old poor mandrake. I'm going to have to pay the beggars, aren't I? I'm going to have to give them gold. Give them arms. What brings you here, my son? The Gauntlets of the Crusader. Ah, yes. The Gauntlets have been here for ages. I know only the basic story behind them. They're more of a novelty these days. My only real involvement with them these days is keeping the youngsters from hurting themselves trying to pick the gauntlets up. What is your interest in them, if I may ask? I'd like to know their story. Yes, well, I don't know the whole thing. A great many years ago, a knight of the old order did something terrible and the gauntlets just fell off. They dropped to the floor right where he stood, and no one could lift them. It was a sign of the curse placed upon this knight by Stendar, I think. That curse still lingers on today, in fact. Poor Kellen. Who is Kellen? Oh, why, he's a descendant of that very knight from so long ago. The curse has affected his family all these years. He suffers from it now. He came here from Hammerfell seeking a cure, but... Ah, uh, well, there's really nothing that can be done for him, I think. He may know more of the story than I. Perhaps you should speak with him, if he's feeling well enough. So he's going to have to give gold to beggars. Bye. Bye. Let's go track him down. Oh wait, no, is he already? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was my fault. Kellen? Kellen? Oh, hi. Oh, you're yawning. What is it? I thought you were eating invisible food for a second. What is it? Is there a cure? Has Arelda found a cure? I know there's something he's not telling me. Tell me of the curse. Ah, so you've heard it, have you? Terrible curse. Been in the family almost longer than anyone can remember. When I was younger, I could live with it. Wasn't so bad but it's only gotten worse over time. I'd come here, to the place it all happened, in the hopes that something could be done. I fear I haven't much time left otherwise. Arelder has let me stay, mostly out of pity, I think. But there's something else. I swear he knows more than he tells. Tell me of a Relder. I've seen plenty of pity in people's eyes over the years. I grew up recognizing it. But with a Relder, there's something else there. And when he speaks to me, there are times I'd swear he sounds apologetic. Guilty, even. Why would that be? What reason does he have to hold back information? I know I'm a doomed man one way or the other. Speak to him if you can. Convince him to tell me what he knows as a dying man's last wish. Farewell. All right, you stay here and try not to die. Oh! Oh, there you are. Oh! Where have you been? And why didn't you tell me you were going away? <sighs> okay. Sure. Oh, you scared me. I thought the Aurorans were back. I thought they were coming back to finish the job. Well, I mean, joke's on them. Those are the gauntlets. You. Welcome, Knight Commander. Let's... persuade you. Please, go on. Oh, disposition max. Never mind. It's a horrible thing, truly. One cannot help but pity those such as Kellen, who have such a burden placed on them through no fault of their own. But, but if it is the will of the Nine, then there is little that can be done. Why did you stutter there? Why did you say, but, but? Huh? What are you not telling me about Kellen? 
I... I cannot face him. I, I know what might be done for him, but I haven't the will to do it. I wish I could help him. Truly I do. But I cannot muster the strength to damn myself on his behalf. What are you talking about? Oh no, does he have to get beat to death the same way the beggar was? The curse. I know what would lift it. But I cannot do it. The only way to free Kellen of his curse is to take it on myself. I am not strong enough to do this, and so I am a failure. I fail Kellen every time I speak to him, and I fail Stendar every time I pray to him and do not ask for the power to lift the curse. Do you know one who would do such a thing? One who would pray at this chapel's altar? Pray to Stendar for the power to lift this curse? Yeah. Me. Farewell. Yeah, real easy. Watch. Do you wish to pray to Stendar for the power to lift Kellen's curse? Yes. I have prayed at the altar in the chapel of Stendar and have been granted the ability to lay hands on Kellen. I need to see him at once. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yep, no, you're just gonna pass out right now, aren't you? Lay hands. This is actually quite fun. Boop. I've lifted the curse from Kellen, which means taking it on myself. As a result, I am weary and my fatigue has been affected. With the curse lifted, I can now retrieve the gauntlets of the Crusader. You... How did you... I feel good. I feel... Good. Oh, I don't like that. I don't feel like death. I feel like... Running! And now... Did that affect my stats at all? Didn't affect my carry weight at all. Yeah, damage fatigue, curse of the consumed. I'm guessing that's all it is. Don't close the door on me. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. No, that didn't last very long now, did it? You're in good company, friend. Yeah, Welcome. don't even talk to me about that. You were no help. I have recovered the Gauntlets of the Crusader. I've completed Sir Casimir's quest by recovering the Gauntlets of the Crusader. I should return to the Priory and find out if there's any news of the remaining two relics. So is that just... Well, I guess it's permanent. I thought picking up the Gauntlets... Uh... <laughs> Zen Arthur would go... Oh, you know, you've... Proving yourself that you don't need this anymore. I mean, it's five. It's just five fatigue. That's it. It's not bad. So yeah, so it's greaves and sword. And then we're all set. Oh, look at... Look at just this, this beauty right here. Look at how good I look. I'm ready. I'm excited. I am ready to have all of the relics at my disposal. Come on, Vilya. I guess you can travel with me this time. Until I say, wait here, and then you say, no, I don't want to, and then we do this all over again. And again. And again. What if I could just get the other Knights of the Nine to go off and take care of that Oblivion Gate? Like, what if I could just order people to do that for me? Like how in uh, Skyrim, if you recruit the Blades, or recruit new Blades, you can have them, um... Sir Knight. Oh, no. Thank RK you are back. Oh, no. I have terrible news. <laughs> yeah, please. Sir Roderick. I think he's dead. Um, yeah, very quickly, just 
how in Skyrim, if you recruit new blades, you can go off and fight dragons with them. If I could get the Knights of the Nine to come and do other stuff with me. I know the Knights of the Nine aren't, you know, here to stop the Oblivion Gates, they're here to stop Umriel. But, you know, it would be nice. I met Roderick! Wait, he's the one that I met by the, um, the one shrine. He's dead? At first, things were going well. He prayed at all the shrines and received a vision, a disturbing vision. The shade of Sir Beric spoke to me was all he said. We must put him to rest. We traveled back and forth across Colovia. He was always asking about an old noble family, the Vlindrils. Finally, he found what he was looking for. We went to Underpaul Cave, and there he fell. Underpaul Cave? I've been there. Then you know it is a place of evil. Sir Roderick and I fought our way into the cave, which actually seems to be a buried keep. We made our way to Lord Vlindril's crypt. Sir Roderick spoke the words that unsealed the tomb. What was Sir Roderick looking for? He said that Sir Beric's tomb was an Underpaul cave, which is no cave, but some kind of buried keep. You don't say. He had learned that Sir Beric had once been a questing knight, like us. He had found the greaves and sword of the Crusader, but then turned to evil. Sir Roderick hoped to find the relics within Sir Beric's tomb, and he did. But we also found a terrible guardian, the wraith of Lord Vlindril, Sir Beric. You know where the relics are? Yes, my lord. And I brought you, Sir Roderick shouted for me to take them, the Greaves, the Holy Relic, they're yours. And the sword? What happened to it? The Wraith. It used it against Sir Roderick. I don't know how that evil thing could use the Holy Weapon, but it did. It screamed as it struck. Take it easy. You're safe now. Or you were telling me about the sword. No, no, no. Take it easy. It's okay. I'm sorry. I remember Sir Roderick saying something about the sword before we went to Underpol. It may be important. He was worried that the sword may have been turned to evil, that it may have to be reconsecrated on the altar of its creator, the Divine Arche. That's all I remember. I hope it may help you. You did well, Lathan. Thank you, Sir Knight. I would ask a boon if I could, although I know I do not deserve it. Would you make me a Knight of the Nine? I want to dedicate myself to ridding the world of evil. I owe it to Sir Roderick. Rise, Sir Lathan. Thank you. I mean, thank you, Sir Knight. I will not fail you. Give me a moment to arm myself, and I will accompany you to Underpaul Cave to destroy the foul wraith. Oh, you will? Okay. Hail, Sir Caradus. What have you heard of the commander's quest for the relics? Hey, hey, I'm right the here. The commander has recovered the boots. Kinnereth smiles upon our endeavor. There can okay. be no doubt. Okay. The Nine be praised. Imagine the very boots with which Pelinal Whitestrake once walked the earth. Oh, I must go and tell the others. Until later, Sir Knight. Commander. Is this what <laughs> nightly gossip is? Is this all that gossip is between knights? Like, my god, he's wearing the boots, the fancy boots that the other man once wore. Granted, you know, got a little white trick, big deal, but still. Just kind of funny. It's like, my god, he wore the boots that Pelinol Whitestrake walked the earth with? It's like, yes. What do you think boots are for? What do you think boots do? Uh, oh, did it already equip? Oh, no, never mind. Uh, I need to equip the greaves still, so let me put away my ebony gauntlets and my ebony greaves. And... Greaves of the Crusader. Ooh! Restoration and Destruction. Yeah, so I have all the armor. I'm just missing the sword. 
Ironically, I'm using Umbra, of all things, right now. Wouldn't it be nice to just talk a little, you and I? Eh, sure, what's up? What would you prefer? An amulet of constant charm effect, or a ring of increased damage? Ooh. Oh, I thought she was asking because she was going to give it to me. Don't tease me like that. Goodbye. Oh, auto update complete for one spell. Forgot about that. What spell? What spell did it do? Oh, uh, let me see. Let me look at my spells real quick. Oh, I think it, um... Changed my... Or updated my healing spell. Fortunately, it's still favorited, so we're good. That's something I'd like to talk to you about. Have you got a minute? I was just gonna tell her to stay here. If you say so. I was just gonna tell her to stay here. If you say so. And she got... She got me all distracted, as usual. I am at your command, Sir Knight. Alright, well, follow me. Let's keep going to Underpaul Cave. If you hear some, uh, slight... Eh, not even banging, just, uh, hammering in the background, it's because they're doing some, uh, brickwork on my building. They're redoing some of the old brickwork, so you might hear some occasional hammering. I'm gonna edit out as much as I can, but... Uh, you might hear it while I'm talking, but even then, it's not super loud. I'm looking at my waveform, and it's very, very minor. Just in case you hear, just in case I'm not able to cut out all of it necessarily, that way you know what's what. Otherwise, it probably just sounds like I'm just very angry, <laughs> angrily tapping my foot on the floor. Oh, I've arrived at Underpole Cave, the location of Lord Vindril's grave. Sir Roderick died somewhere inside battling the foul wraith that now wields the sword of the Crusader. Don't attack the horse. The righteous fury of Standard I think that's my horse. No, it might be his horse, actually. Do I need to repair my sword soon? I think so. Oh, wait! No, it updated my, um... It didn't update my healing skill, it updated my destruction skill, and now I can't use it. Wait. Do you see this? Wizard's Fury. Requires destruction skill of 50. Oh! Hmm. I feel like that's a little bit of a, um... Little bit of a problem. That could indeed be a little bit of a problem. Okay. Everything is repaired to max. Let me look at my spells. So, yeah. Alright, they updated that, and now I can't use my favorite destruction spell. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. That's what I get. For using the auto update for gear and spells and everything. That's what I get. Um. <laughs> elemental bolt, I guess, for now? I don't have anything else I can use. I mean, I probably have other stuff I can use, but. We're gonna roll with that for right now. It's gonna do jack shit compared to my, um. Other stuff, but still. Also, why is my stamina not going back up? Okay, it is. It is. For a second, I thought it wasn't. For a second, I thought it was kind of plateaued and stuck, but... It's coming along now. Also... Where's my friend? Wait. Where are you going? Come back here. Get off your horse! 
I am at your command, Sir Knight. Yeah, follow me. Let's keep going to Underpaul Cave. Yes, let's go to Underpaul Cave. It's right here. Get off your damn horse. Let's go. You have to get off the horse. I should have let the ogre kill the horse, because now you're just going to stand there, sit there, on your horse, mocking me. I really hope he doesn't have to follow me, then. Follow me, I'm at your command, but I won't get off my horse, because fuck you. Yeah, I sure hope he doesn't have to be here for this. So that could be a little bit of a problem. Like, why did he get on his horse? Like, was there something in the quest that I didn't understand? No, just go inside and kill the wraith. Like, that much I understand, that much I <laughs> was able to get. I'm just trying to figure out what to do. Because unless I just, like, kill the horse or something, I don't think there's any way to get him off. Like, maybe if I just had waited instead, he would have popped to me, but I'm not sure. Listen, it just, it threw me for a loop. It threw me for a little bit of a loop. I do love the little... Yeah, when I go into uh do my lunge attack. When I go in for my power attack. I don't know why I like it so much, I just I do. I just drain my stamina so quickly because I just wanna I just wanna keep attacking, I just wanna be a powerhouse. But the way they did it back in Morrowind in Oblivion, it made sense. <laughs> That every attack would use stamina, not just power attacks. Alright. Just catch your breath. It's okay. It just sounds like a very exaggerated catching your breath. Like, it sounds like they just shoved the microphone into someone's mouth. And they said, here, breathe for me. Then they started breathing. They said, no, 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 that's too, uh, that's too peaceful. I need it to be a lot... More exaggerated than that. I need you to really swallow this microphone and then go, ha, ha, ha. Convince me that you have a lung problem. Convince me that you're a chain smoker. Run five feet for me, swallow this microphone, and then breathe. That's right, I said five feet. Do I not have a better healing spell? Because it only updated one of my spells, but... I think those are the only healing spells I have. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to buy a new restoration spell at some point. Let me look at my restoration skill. Restoration is 59. Oh no, my base is 59, plus 33 to 92, Jesus. Yeah, I should buy a new one. I gotta just take a trip to the Arcane University at some point. Take a trip to the University, um, get a Restoration spell, get a Destruction spell, that's not absolute duty. I feel like I am just burning through my stamina faster than usual, though it's probably just because of me swapping out my normal gear for the Relics of the Crusader, if I had to guess. Also, normally I have someone with me to fight. Normally I have someone to help me out here, but no Vilya, no uh, Sir Lathan, because he decided, eh, I'm going to just hang out on my horse. Really appreciate that, dude. Uh, oh. uh. 
I'm just going in for the kill. I gotta heal up again, though, because I'm gonna die real, real fast. Yeah, let me look at my jewelry. Maybe I have something jewelry-wise that can help me out. Should have brought Vilya. Absolutely should have brought Vilya. And I can still summon her, so maybe I'll do that. We'll see. Because what jewelry do I have equipped right now? I have Cruelty's Heart. Willpower and Strength. Okay. I have the Ring of Perfection. And... Okay, so I... Yeah. Let's do the Blackstone, I guess. Restore Fatigue, 2 points on self. Fortify Health, 25 points on self. Oh, we're... Yeah, Ring of Stamina, way better. What am I talking about? Restore Fatigue, or Fortify Fatigue, Fortify Health. Eh... Restore is a little bit more useful, I feel. Because that's constant, it's constantly doing that for me. Yeah, let's do that. And, let's get Vilya, because... I didn't bring her because I figured, oh, I'm going to have someone to follow me. I'm going to have someone to help me out here. And she said, okay. And then Sir Lathan said, oh, you don't need me. You don't need me. You don't want me. I need some money for personal expenses. To tell the truth, it seems Melinda's business is not doing that well. I need to help her out. Is this all I am to you? A bank? Fine. 2,000 gold. Thank you. I might need more later on. I'll let you know. You might need more? Talk later. I said 2,000. Why did it only take 1,000? Your, um... Your sister might want to look into a different line of work if she constantly needs this much upkeep money. This much money to keep her afloat. Between this and the fact that she went to prison for, um... And turning some Dunmer into having fur. I don't know if your uh, sister really runs a great business. Might be time for her to find something else to do. Don't turn your back on me. No one's turning their back on me. The uh, the rats are running away from me. The lich just turns his back. I'm intimidating. I'm fearful. He is just draining my health, though. My god. Oh, 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 there he is. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like my old gear just had really, really good enchantments to keep my, um... My fatigue up constantly, and now I feel like I don't have any fatigue compared to before. I didn't really think about that with the enchantments. Because what is my fatigue even at? I have 347 fatigue, yeah. I guess I'm just blowing through it a lot with my attacks. Oh, what's attacking you? Oh, where did he come from? Where did they come from? What? Where were they this whole time? I kill you. Oh, he's almost dead. Fun. All right, good. You are as good as dead. He is dead. I get silenced so goddamn much. Now it looks like they want me to go all the way around, or. I could just hop down here. Oh! Whoops, my foot. That's why they want me, wanted me to go around, because I was going to break my foot otherwise. Do you know the name of this fort? Uh, Underpal? Wait, did I just go in a circle? Wait, I've been here. That's what I get for thinking that I'm going... A shortcut. <laughs> That's what I get for thinking that I'm taking some sort of 
wonderful, beautiful shortcut. Wait, I just thought about something. I know why my stamina is going down so much faster. Is it because of the curse that I took on? It's because of that, isn't it? It's my curse of the consumed, isn't it? Which I didn't think it would affect me that much, but I haven't had any issues managing my fatigue up until now. Or not as much trouble managing my fatigue up until now. Well, that's a hole. Can I jump across this? Yeah, I can! You thought you were safe over here? You were wrong. Now fall in the hole. Get down there. Oh, they're still alive. Like shooting skeletons in a- Where did you come from? Oh, those are spikes. I am so lost. I am so, so lost. Okay, I was trying to jump over that. Did not work. Someone take me home. How do I get out of here? I just want the sword. That's all I'm here for. Wait, I just heard a man's voice. Who said- Wait, who? What? I was hoping it was Lathan. That's not Lathan. What is going on? <laughs> Vilya, please, I need help. Vilya? Vilya? Where does this even lead? Under Paul Cave, okay. Now there's vampires down here. I was not expecting this at all. I know I'm doing probably no damage because my stamina is so goddamn low, but... Yeah, I can see why this um, fatigue thing was an issue for that guy. I understand it now. Oh! So yeah, it's telling me to be down here again. Telling me to come down here. Telling me to go... Yeah, I've gone in a giant circle at this point. But I didn't go this way yet, so that's... That's where I went wrong. I'm on your side. I was hitting the rat. You got in the way. Don't blame me. Oh! Skeletons and rocks. What a combo. Ooh. I like how the skeleton turned away from us for a second. It's like, are there enemies behind me? Nah. Just wanted to check. Come on, Vilio, you can do it. I believe in you. Reflecting chamber. That sounds promising. Also, I want to see if I... <laughs> Man, I'm a pincushion right now. Oh. Oh, you're complaining about an arrow to the knee? I'm complaining about three arrows sticking through my stomach and my ass. Like, get on my level. Four arrows sticking through my stomach and ass. One through my shoulder. One through my rib cage. One through my arm. Jesus. Oh, I can't be an adventurer anymore. There's an arrow in my knee. Oh, well, I'm so sorry for you. I'm so, so sorry. Oh, all right. Let me repair my gear, because I'm pretty sure it's going to break soon. Okay. I 
was checking to see if I had, um, if I had been bitten by the vampire, but I did not, so I'm good. I didn't want to forget about that. I didn't want to potentially wind up a vampire just because I forgot to check it. Oh boy, more skeletons. Exactly what I wanted. Yeah, I feel like my stamina just comes back to me so slowly. Ooh, that hurt. You need my friend and don't. You're a day. I just wanted Sir Lathan to come with me. Made him a knight and everything, and he didn't even bother. Is he wearing... What armor is that? Is that... Daedric armor? I don't think so. I don't recognize it, though. Come on! Die! There we go. Woo! Sir Roderick? Wait, Curious of the Blood Legion? Hmm. Ooh. Hello, Sir Roderick. You think you can beat me? Go ahead! Oh, you missed! Uh. Oh! Oh, he silenced me. He drained all of my magicka and silenced me. God damn. Come on, Vilia, we can take him. I can't see anything because I'm on fire. You're a I want that sword. If that's what the sword does, I want it. That might be the corrupted version, though. Oh. The Sword of the Crusader. The Wraith of Lord Vindril is destroyed. I need to reclaim the Sword of the Crusader that he somehow twisted to his evil purpose. I've recovered the Sword of the Crusader, but it has been desecrated by the foul wraith that wielded it. I should take it to the Chapel of Arche in Chadenholt to reconsecrate it to its holy purpose. Is there like a faster way out of here? I sure hope so. Boy, oh boy, do I sure hope so. I think there is. Fairly certain there is. Yep, okay. Pretty much a straight shot out of here, it looks like. That's nice, that's good. I'm happy in that case. Do you think Sir Lathan's gonna be outside going, Man, when are we gonna get to Underpaul Cave? And then we just kick him out of the Knights of the Nine. We just sacrifice him to the Oblivion Gate. At this point, I'm okay with that. Might gain a little infamy. Might not let me wear the uh, Relics of the Nine anymore. Oh, there you are! Hail, Commander. Sir Roderick is avenged, and you have recovered the Sword of the Crusader. I'll return to the Priory and give my fellow knights the good news. Farewell! <laughs> you... <laughs> Hindsight's twenty twenty. He didn't deserve to be a knight. But now we know. Now we goddamn know.